now we have our ips officer r shri kumar ji the commissioner of police of karnataka police the journey of it aki your top cap and next we have achal choudhary ji who has come from indore all the way and by the way all this media etc is through katsi achal choudhary ji Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Thanks, Commander Jetli, for this opportunity to be mingling with such personalities. I just recall my parents. My father, working in the UPSC, said, "No problem in going into USA, etc. You better take up the UPSC examination." So through engineering service, I landed in CPWD. He got me the civil service forms. so that since i was fed up with the cpwd i attempted civil service and i landed in the police brand identity in up in 1975 i was asked to open the up police computer station as luck would have it it didn't go through that time thanks to my wife ias officer our engineer ias officer of karnataka i got a shift here and uh, thanks to the governor i wish he had been here in the governor's role i was made the dg also for the election and then later the elected elected government came and that time also continued as the dgp and my only hope was that at least two modules of computerization will be implemented before i retired so from 75 to 2009 right computerization technical thing nothing happened so when i retired as the dgp i wrote what did i do as dgp nothing absolutely nothing and i do not know why i am here but i must room thank one thing karnada gave me my my boy who was born as sp he is here and his uh, son and wife are here son is the youngest participant he just about 6 months old and he is calling me in uh, karnataka the first chief justice of karnataka i mean he became the first central vigilance commissioner in 1965 and after that the only officer from karnataka who got as a member of the uh, central vigilance commission was me so i am very happy that karnataka helped me and thank you ganjini for getting me to karnataka so my short point is the best is yet to come dr mishra and thanking you for having an mou with the government of karnataka to implement technology and that mou is going to be expiring in 2024 i told you hey we have not done anything so far so at this point of time things all all the grand itns are there great itns are there we must have the mou extended for another 5 years and before 2030 we must achieve sdg 2030 and we must also achieve viksit bharat 2047 and most of us till we are going to be here in this world we should be able to contribute and take it forward thank you so much